welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to create windows bootable usb with rufus why i'm recommending rufus because it give you the multiple options like you can install windows 11 on unsupported hardware you can escape the microsoft account during the installation process and many more options okay so let's quickly get started and see that how you can create any kind of bootable usb with rufus so first you need to download the rufus software the link will be in the description and you can come to rufus.ie and once you come up here scroll down a bit and you have to click on the first link that says rufus 4.2.exe click on it download it once it download it click on the downloaded file install it i have already installed so let me quickly open and show you so this is how it looks like a very neat and clean and a small box uh, where you have the tons of options now once you come up here it will ask you on the very top that which device which pen drive or usb you want to make bootable usb so in case if you have connected multiple usb so make sure that you select the right one or else all the data will be wiped out okay so on my end you can see that i have two usb and this is the one that is of 8 gigabyte that i want to create a windows 11 usb once you have selected next it will ask you the boot selection it says disk or iso image so now what you can do if you have downloaded any kind of iso like for windows 11 or windows 10 then you can click on select and locate to that location where you have saved the iso image but in case if you have not downloaded any iso yet and let's say that if you want to make windows 11 bootable usb so for that go to google type windows 11 iso download hit the enter key click on the first link of microsoft then here scroll down a bit and you can see that it says download windows 11 disk image so click on the drop down choose windows 11 multi edition click on download now then choose the product language click confirm and then click on 64 download and the downloading will be started okay so as i said that i have already downloaded the iso file so i will just click on select then locate to that iso location and you can see i have multiple iso here so i can go with kali linux ubuntu windows 10 windows 11 so for the demonstration process i will be showing you that how you have to make windows 11 bootable usb so select this option then click on open now once selected it will be automatically detecting all the other options so you don't have to make any kind of changes here simply click on start and now this is the most important part where you get multiple options it says remove requirement for 4 gigabyte plus ram secure boot and tpm so let's say if you have an old device where you want to install windows 11 and you are getting the error message of your pc is not supported then what you can do you can keep this option checked and this will be skipping the secure boot the tpm and the 4gb requirement the next one is remove a requirement for an online microsoft account so if you want that while installing windows 11 it should not ask you any kind of microsoft account and you should go with the local account then you can keep this option checked and even if you want that it should create a local account with this particular name or whatever you want to then you can type that local account name here and then you can proceed then you have set regional update to the same value at this user you can also keep this option check disable data collection so many time it asks you different kind of uh, like permission in order to collect your data so it's also recommended that you should check this option then you have disable bit locker automatic drive device encryption so it's all up to you if you want to disable the bit locker device encryption you can enable it or you want to uh, keep it then you can uncheck it and then finally you will have to click on ok and now before proceeding it says that warning all the data on the device will be destroyed so make sure that you have chosen the right usb and you don't have any kind of important data because all the data will be wiped out so once you are assured then you have to click on ok and now the process will be started and it will take some time and finally 
your Windows 11 or whichever bootable USB you are creating, it will be created. Alright, so finally the USB has been created and it took about like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, so on your end, it can take between 15 to 30 minutes. So you will have to wait here. And now once it's completed, what you will have to do, simply close it. And now if I open up my file explorer, so you can see this is my new USB bootable drive that we have created. And even it has been renamed that say CCCOMA x64. And if I make a double click on it, so I can see all kind of Windows 11 file over here. So that clearly indicate that this is now a bootable USB that we can use to install Windows 11 and bypass many kind of restrictions like of secure boot and the TPM and even we can escape the Microsoft account. All right, so this is how you can create any kind of bootable USB with the help of the roofers. Hopefully you will find this video helpful guys and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any kind of problem, any kind of question, just let me know in the comment section. I will reply you back and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.